honestly, if, if you had a job where you come to work and people clap for you, it would change your entire mood. Charlize Theron is being criticized. I love you all for being here. But truly, every day we do hot topics and I have at least three stories that I haven't gotten to because I have to pause with the, Wendy, Wendy. <laughs> that was so weak. <laughs> and studio audience? Yes. No, you're gonna let me talk. <laughs> okay. Can you let me finish my statement be <laughs> before, okay. You're all getting a free two-night stay. <laughs> Impressive. He can get it. Okay, Jason, I didn't mean that. Like, I'm floored. I'm sorry. There are only 10 old harpies here at the Wendy studio who say you can get it. I don't like all the sweat or baby oil or whatever that is. Like, get off me and stay off my sheets. <laughs> Don't hug me and ruin my wig and, and stain my clothes. When's the last time you danced that hard? <laughs> oh! Gabriela is from Argentina. She was a former tennis pro. This is clearly from the early 80s. She won, she won the U.S. Open in, uh, <laughs> yep, in 1990. <laughs> And that's when her relationship with Donald Trump ended. Suzanne, stop laughing no. so loud. That you was, can stop. Suzanne, that was in style back then. That's what, that's what, 1990. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's talk about A-Rod. He's been linked to Madonna. And he's been linked to Cameron. And he's been linked to Kate. So his type seems to be blonde. Pretty. Oh. <laughs> they said, eh. Sonia, those are interesting bangs. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Justin's believers are turning on him. Oh. Well, I feel like they're right. He apparently canceled all of his fan meet and greets after his tour. A lot of his fans were saying, well, you know, why are you canceling? Taylor Swift invites her fans to her house. <laughs> well, that's because Taylor Swift is weird. <laughs> like, for the longest time, I thought um, that sorry song by Bieber, I thought that was a woman <laughs> singing. <laughs> like, I couldn't, I couldn't really tell. Sherry Shepard. Sherry. 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 <laughs> Sherry's ex, that. <laughs> Who I've called a wildebeest before. <laughs> but that was in 2015. For 2016, I'm trying to not say that. So I'm not gonna call him a wildebeest, but how about a woolly mammoth? <laughs> <laughs> Stop, stop you all, <laughs> encouraging me. His name is Lamar. He's only 43 years old. <laughs> Times are hard. <laughs> Lamar is trying to get more money from Sherry because Sherry's career is judged 
up. Lamar wants to increase his child support payments because he believes Sherry is now making more money. He's projecting that her income now will be $3 million a year and he wants his fair share. So this guy wants more money. The wildebeest. It's unfortunate because she's a celebrity, she can't hide her raise, you know, like you can if you're in the private sector. You know, her raise is all over Variety magazine and inside the National Enquirer. Oh, Sherry Shepard just got a new job doing this. And in the meantime, this man is right here salivating probably over, <laughs> mm, the Mercedes dealer closes at what time? <laughs> Who wants a Destiny's Child reunion? I think that this would be the best thing ever. A best thing ever. They just activated a new Instagram page, and the fans are wondering if they're hinting at a reunion for their 20th anniversary, you know, a tour. The interesting thing is the shade of one of the pictures. Hit it. There's two, there's two Kellys, no Michelle. Now, you all are gonna leave Michelle alone, okay? <laughs> when Michelle fell down on 106 and Park, I think is when we all maybe got disgusted with her. This was about 10 years ago. <laughs> okay. A lot of you all might be saying, well, why would Beyonce wanna get back together with them? Beyonce's got her own solo career. You know why? She probably misses hanging out with her best friends. Like, like on the road, not just them visiting and saying, you look good, Beyonce, break a leg. This is Beyonce being benev benevolent to the other two. Come on, you girls, let's go on the road. We'll all three break legs. <laughs> Michelle might break two. <laughs> and I'm sure that Beyonce loved touring the world with Kelly and, um, Lindsay Lohan was caught um, kissing a mystery man. Ooh. She was spotted with him on a yacht in Italy. We have another picture. They have matching pot bellies. <laughs> she was there to pick up an award. The Comeback Award. And there she, there's the award. She looks girl next door-ish. She looks sober. However, in true Lindsay fashion, Things fell apart at the party. Oh. Take a look at this picture. Oh. <laughs> now, everybody, everybody, don't judge. I mean, listen, there's certain narcotics that you take that make you sweat a lot, but also it gets very hot in parties, so don't judge. She might be down on the floor feeling the beautiful mosaic. Oh. Or maybe a heel broke all of the sudden. Oh. I'm not judging. Oh. My son and I, this is years ago, we're sitting behind her at American Idol. It was like during the Ellen DeGeneres years of American Idol. And when Lindsay stood up, all this powder poofed <laughs> out of her shoes. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know who keeps powder in their shoes. So that's a little strange. <laughs> So Courtney Cox and her boyfriend, um, her fiance, they split up and now they're back together, allegedly. Just cause you get back together doesn't mean the old problems don't still exist. And the old problem is neither one of them could deal with where are we gonna live? You know, she's a California girl and he's Irish from Ireland, Irish. And so, you know, he wanted to live there and she wants to live in LA. Jennifer Aniston is now um, the one who's pushed Courtney to reunite. Not for nothing, Jennifer Aniston is not the one to take romantic <laughs> advice from. There's a new relationship brewing, and you'll never believe who's involved. My dog, Shaquille. Okay. So, he met his first girl over the weekend, and she's a blonde. And so, uh-huh. 
He's out for a walk, and her parents weren't anywhere around, and I don't know this bitch. <laughs> I don't know where she's been. So, but, but he, does, he does the correct thing. He sniffs her to be sure that he, he, she's clean. And then they continue with a conversation. And so she says to him, do you live here? And so he's like, no. <laughs> I live right up the block. I've never seen you before. Well, my mom's not gonna like this, so I can't talk to her about this. But now, Sha Shaquille, I have the receipt, and I saw you give her a kiss. <laughs> He's way too young for any of that. We had a very stern talk. We won't be walking in that direction for a moment. <laughs> for a moment. Miley Cyrus. Now, you know she's involved with him. <laughs> Liam. He's very handsome, and, and very handsome. <laughs> and, and he's Australian. And Liam is ready to get married, and they're both, they're back on board with being engaged and whatnot. And his brother's Australian, and his brother is married, and so Miley and the sister-in-law apparently are close, like her and her. They're close. How long do you think this friendship with the, with the sister-in-law is gonna sustain her before she's like, okay, well, you know, where's my foam finger? <laughs> Tamar Braxton, she's used her reality show to throw shade at the real. Only, in my opinion, Tamar and Vince, you are fighting a losing battle. And it's only, it's only making both of you look worse for your next employ. This was at the end of one of the shows, like at the very end, where they just snipped and pasted it and put it in. Now, a lot of the people in the bureau were saying, well, her makeup's not running. And I said, well, good makeup doesn't run just because you cry. However, crying does involve tears. <laughs> Take a look. I know everybody's gonna think something I did. Or she's this way and she got a big mouth. Or I don't know. I don't know. It's just not right. I just, I don't understand. I can probably understand more if I know that I did something, but I don't know what I did. Um. <laughs> According to the Daily Mail, the word in the street is that The Real did not want to fire Tamar. They wanted to fire her husband, Vince, as executive producer. I don't know why. I've been on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Vince... <laughs> Lips is popping. <laughs> Do you talk to the girls from The Real? Well, it's been know, a year. It's been a year, but, you know, I saw um, Tia yesterday at the airport. T -t -t Tia. It was Tia who I saw. Yes. That's not shade. Come on. I, I ain't the shadiest person on the planet. I saw her sister. I ain't playing it. <laughs> One of the most fascinating shows is back on TV for a second season, and I can't believe I missed the first season. My Giant Life. Okay, everybody calm down. <laughs> it's about women who are six feet six and taller. <laughs> Wendy, what's good? I know you're a huge fan of TLC's My Giant Life. Yes. Did you notice that they always put these large girls in tiny chairs? Yes. Do you think it's done on purpose? Yes, I did notice this, and I do think they do it on purpose. Everybody looks gigantic in small furniture. <laughs> I, myself, did an experiment and took a picture in a small chair. Well, take a look. A mess. <laughs> a mess. <laughs> Tisha Campbell Martin, who I absolutely love. She's married to Dwayne Martin, and they have this six-year-old son. And the six-year-old just found out that his mom played Gina on Martin. <laughs> so now he won't stop calling her Gina. I've been driving for two hours. Gina, Gina, and he won't Gina, stop calling me. Gina! Stop calling me. Gina! Come give me a kiss. Okay, Gina. No, mommy. Gina. Mommy. Gina. Gina. Stop calling me that. Gina. Nikki. Yes, Gina. So cute.
It's always funny to me when legends keep up with nonsense. And it's, it's a Bette Midler who can't keep up with the Kardashians. Bette's confused about their family tree. Bette says, Rob Kardashian's engaged to the mother of the child of Kylie Jenner's boyfriend. Uh, um, they'll share a stepchild. Somebody send me a chart. Okay, Bette, well, that's what we're here for. Come on over, John. Yes. <laughs> Bet, it's very, very difficult for me to understand either. Okay, first of all, Tyga, the Tyga and Black China are baby's parents, Bet, to um, Cairo, King, King Cairo. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, now, now, Bet, follow me. All right, so now you know China is now engaged to Rob. Okay, so if Rob and China become engaged, then they will be, um, and these two get married eventually, Kylie and, and Tyga, then they will be in-laws, and then, and then Kylie will be an aunt slash stepmother to, um, <laughs> to um, King Cairo. And, um, and, and then, Bet, just so that you can keep up with everything going on, we've got your address and I'm mailing this to you. Take it away, John. So halfway through our show, it's like 10.30 in New York time, Bet calls up the bureau and, and, says, and says, please make sure you have my address correct. No, I really do need that board that you were, that you were explaining. Yes, that, Bet. You know, yeah, you're my kind of girl. Why don't you ever come here? Let's be friends. Yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger's love child with Mildred the maid. No, I mean a recent picture. Well, that's what I'm here for. Oh, he's only 18 years old. His name is Joseph, and he's really big. <laughs> he's got a strong face. Yeah. He um, looks like a perfect combination of his dad and his mom. Okay. Yes, well, yeah, now show mom. <laughs> you know, uh, and here, here's what I find odd about this. It has got to be difficult being as other kids to see that the oops baby looks more like dad than they do. Cause Patrick Schwarzenegger does not look like his father. But this boy right here looks like his dad. Ooh. So there's this feud going on between Demi Lovato and Nicki Minaj. You know, everybody was at the Met Gala having fun, posing for pictures, being glamorous. Nikki was at the Met Gala, um, and she took a picture with the designer of her um, dress, Jeremy Scott, and also he also designed um, um, Demi's dress. All right, so here's what uh, Nikki did. So she posted on her social media, and she tagged the designer, Jeremy Scott, but not Demi. So these people get all caught up in their emotions and I guess Demi felt hurt and so here she goes. She posted a Snapchat saying, um, when, <laughs> when you aren't mentioned, but uh, when you aren't mentioned in a post, but you didn't do bleep to the person. So why'd you have to do that? Like, we get it, she doesn't like you. So what, everybody doesn't like everybody. Do we have the other picture where, um, where Nikki is looking at her, shading her, like clearly on the red carpet? Now, Nikki is what, 35, 30, 33? Like, uh -huh. Too old to be acting like that. Like, right. why is she screw-facing in such a way on the carpet? What did Demi ever do? Dig. Yeah. Dig. We'll Find out. <laughs> All right. Okay. That topic's weak on Yes, <laughs> I want to know.
<laughs> that, that you love. Their business, Suzanne, is our business. That is. They're yes. working around the clock. Mm -hmm. Regular Walter Winchells, aren't you? 